I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get We're gonna watch James's favorite movie and get the day started. on my way to go grocery shopping. Do you see that building over there, that gray building? That is where I got my hair cut when I chopped it all off so long ago. I'll put in a clip here. Holy ravioli. It is quite short, but I am very happy with it. We'll see how I'm able to like style it every day. It's still going to take some getting used to, but I'm back short hair so short I was in this car when I took those clips of um, my haircut who would have thunk that we would eventually live here it's the Avita Hair Institute um, and so yeah I just pulled into this gas station and I was like I have been here before so crazy um, but anyways I am going grocery shopping during the day James has had a really great day and Peter had a low um, meeting load. He has plenty of work to do, but he, James was napping. So we were like, why don't I just go grocery shopping now so that it doesn't take up the evening. So I'm headed to Aldi. Also, a quick tip about getting gas. I haven't gotten gas in forever. Peter usually does it, but my dad worked for State Farm and he always had like, I mean, I, I don't know if this really has to do with his like, experience with insurance or whatever um but he always said to get gas and to try to get it to the nearest quarter like fill it up to exactly 25 cents 50 cents 75 cents or a dollar because that way you know in your bank statement that you always do that and if you see a gas charge that is different then you know that your like card was compromised or that like you can you can be aware of what you're spending at the gas station a lot of people don't like to keep the receipts for a long period of time I actually logged my gas I love my dad he had us put the date the mileage of the car the amount that we spent on gas and I had a notebook in my car and I had to log it I eventually stop doing that um but again just to protect yourself a little tip from jim ryan aldi haldi aldi haldi all righty we'll go through this quick i got peppers some green peppers tomatoes Lettuce, spinach, cauliflower, zucchini, standards, oh, onions, and apples. And then to our grains, I got some quinoa, some tortillas, and then that's like specific panini bread because this week we're going to make grilled veggie panini on the press. Um, I'm also making some green chili, and so the corn chips will go on top. Um, these are actually our dips that we will bring to the Riviera this weekend for our little staycation. Never tried that jalapeno artichoke dip. It is not plant-based. Um, but I just want to try it. And then salsa. It's just some stuff we were out of. Olive oil, soy sauce, almond milk, veggie stock, some pickle spears because I'm reasonable unlike my husband. Two different cereals, some chips for the dip for the weekend. A little bit of Valentine's Day candy. I got this mix to make um, dip with sour cream, but they were all out of sour cream, so we might have to pick some of this up. We'll just have that on deck. A six pack of ginger beer. I'm gonna have this with cranberry juice for our, again, our little stay at the Riviera. This is like groceries plus stay. Just keeping 
keeping in mind that we have a handful of dining reservations coming up. Um, the beans, corn for the green chili I'm gonna make, as well as some rolls that'll go with the chili. Um, I'm going to make some sort of like Hawaiian veggie bake this week, so I got pineapple. And then for my chili, when I do chili plant-based, I usually use rice cauliflower for the base instead of like a ground meat. It has that consistency, but then also has the veggies. Um, and then this was just some fun frozen stuff that I got. Garlic nuts, potato puffs, and a cheese pizza because, you know, it's just, it just was calling to me. And then three kombucha. So all of that was just over $90. I know that the chili will last us a couple of days. Again, the veggie sandwiches. Um, and then the other veggie bake that I have in mind. So this will be probably our last really big haul before we move. It wasn't huge, but I got just a ton of like my standard veggies that I can just whip up random dinners with um, otherwise. And then a couple of like just household things that we always have um, that I had to pick up. I also got, oh, this actually makes a big difference. That total also included toilet paper as well as some toiletry stuff. So can't be Aldi. And the baby is just now waking up. He slept for so long. You're a good kid. How's it work? Work you. What is that? <laughs> the table's are right. <laughs> what is this? It's a ginger beer cocktail <laughs> with cranberry. What is she mad about down there? Once again, my Tuesday is a Monday, which is why I look the way I do right now. But look at these delicious garlic knots that Sarah made as an appetizer. <laughs> look at this setup. Uh, I forgot to grab the milk snob on the way out. So. And it's 48 degrees. <laughs> Does it look like we're ready to move to Chicago in three weeks? So, he's got an Irish sweater on him, a blanket. He's bundled inside too, but he's also asleep. I wish I was in there. All right, we got 15 minutes left of park time. Five zero. Five zero. Mickey Minutes is 20 minutes, but there's no rider slot because you can the, go on you it if you're a baby. any age. But, but we're gonna. <laughs> See, who's gonna talk? About... <laughs> um, who's gonna talk over there? Rock and roll no, but for serious, for serious, for serious, for serious. Ten minutes. For serious. To Murgatroyd. You're I absolutely go, ridiculous. I want to go on Tower of Terror. Oh snap, we're not even Maybe we'll hop on Tower of Terror. We can hop on Tower of Terror right before park close. We'll sneak in. But that would be the one that we would want to like ride or swap and we need more time. Well, let's let's ride or swap rocking for five minutes and then we'll see what Tower of Terror is. Maybe we can ride or swap that too. Our baby is asleep. I think this is the first time I've done standby since COVID. And it's strange to not hear the ultimate pearls being uh, swished. So the goal is to go on back-to-back -to -back Tower Terror rock and roll coasters, and I'm doing this, the actual standby for this, so Sarah can skip all this, but I'm flying through the line. It's been about three minutes, and I'm already about to be in the alleyway. Look at this! Honestly, it was like a three-minute, it was realistically like a five-minute wait. Yes. Oh gosh, the little one woke up. He must know that we're in the the rock and roller coaster shop because he's rocking on. All right, I got James covered more more efficiently, I think. As long as there's no wind, it's not really that cold out. Um, he also is a hot box and hates being covered. So we're gonna see if we can get him to go back to dozing. If not, we'll carry him up. Well, mom goes on rock and roller coaster. Oh yeah. Now it is my turn. I don't think I've ever been on this ride wearing a scarf before. <laughs> All right, someone is uh, wide awake and trying to kick a blanket off his legs. 
Sogo's life with a three month old. We almost had a perfect execution where when Sarah got off Rock and Roll Coaster, we were gonna attempt to go on Mickey Minnie, it's just all three of us with James being awake. But we got about halfway down Sunset Boulevard and he let us know that he is way too hungry to go on an attraction. Yeah. So now we're just sitting on a bench, having a little snack, enjoying the sights and sounds as the park closes because it's three minutes until park close. Wait, I forgot to tell you guys. For the blast off of Rock and Roller Coaster, they counted down and then we didn't go anywhere. It was like such like a, a weird like adrenaline like cult. But, but then the, it like went it right away. Yeah, I'm like, it would have scared when me. is it gonna like go off? Ah. We hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. What is this? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> AKA, go home. It sounds like a great movie ride. We had a full Hollywood Studios day. <laughs> we were here at Rope Trap, we did Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> we had <laughs> Pizza Rizzo's. Had Pizza Rizzo's after we did Mamba 3D Vision. Did American Idol. Yeah. We almost made it to the finale. Mm -hmm. We walked the streets of America, back on tour. And just ended with Rock and Roller Coaster. It was a pretty great day. All right, we're making our way. We're going to walk Crescent Lake to Boardwalk. We have to check for a little bit of merchandise for some friends. We have some friends staying at the Boardwalk, but I don't know. We think they're at Epcot tonight. We have plans to meet up with them Thursday. Sarah came up with an idea, or had a realization, since our friends are staying at Crescent Lake, that I'm gonna try to use one of the gyms there. And then if anybody asks, I'll just say my friends are staying, I'm visiting my friends and they're staying here. Yeah. And then I don't have to run because it's freezing outside and I don't have running pants. Which, we know we have to get running, cold weather running equipment before Chicago. Yes. Because even though it's in three weeks, four weeks, it's gonna be in the 30s probably when we move. Yeah. It's eight degrees this weekend. Oh my gosh. And I got the little bean in the carrier for warmth and coziness. And fun. Yeah. He's awake. Just chilling. Side step, side step. Look at that cutie pie. A little babushka on. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna change and go running at this gym, which I've never run at before. Yeah, not your, not your typical Crescent Lake run. No. So you'll have to come back and do it. During the daytime. Yeah. Are you sure how cute he looks? He's just chilling and enjoying his time <laughs> close to his mama. Aww. All rested. Um, look at this locker room. Yes. Why have I never done this before? I mean, come on. Check out this amazing gym. I have all to myself. I'm going to see if I can put Stacy on the treadmill. It's got a channel right here, but I don't know if that goes in here because I need some Stacy. Can I connect my Bluetooth headphones to that? That's cool. I gotta lace up and start running. Um, this one's super cool and I can like run through areas, like terrains. This is way fancier and newer than um, the one at Wilderness Lodge. Connect my Bluetooth or my heart monitor to it. I think the channel guide is for the TV over here, but I can't see it, so. But I don't know if I could even put Stacy on. Maybe I could, I don't know. But I think I'm just gonna put on, actually, a video on my phone rather than this. But that's cool. Oh, uh, cool, you can set up the workouts by, by runs. All right, that's cool. So we're gonna do four miles today. Start. Ooh, I gotta get my, my actual video on. It all begins with one step. This is fancy. No way. Am I even ready to start running? I gotta start my watch. Oh, look at the sequoias. Oh, here we go, because we're going slow. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get my watch started and speed this up. Alrighty, so it's a super quiet night in the lobby. That is where me and James are hanging out. I had to change his diaper. I put on a different coat on him. And we are just gonna sit by the fireplace until dad is done. Well, this is cool, but unexpectedly difficult. You can see runners running at the same time as me. And I can virtually pass them. But this workout is adding the incline. Woo. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Go. Go back. Start it. Resume. I found the TV. I found the TV. 
I saw on the TV. I think I can hook up my speakers to this and I can watch, I can watch Disney stuff. See, look at, you got YouTube, Netflix, Pandora. Look at, yes. Yes, okay, I gotta hook up my headphones to this thing. It is official. James loves people watching. We've just been sitting here watching people walk past. Our friends Jordan and Robert are gonna come and say hi. What is that face? Gotta say, that was one of the, the nicest treadmill runs I've ever done in there. It was so enjoyable. And the locker room in there, absolutely amazing. Everything about that, I can't believe that's the first time I've ever worked out there. I wanna to try to work out there again before we leave. But I also wanna do an outdoor Crescent Lake run before we leave too. So, I guess we're just gonna have to spend some time here. That was wonderful. Got to watch the, the Boardwalk Resort TV channel while running. Woo! They see me rolling. They hate him. We're coming up to our car. I secretly love parking at studios and walking over to Boardwalk because when you come back, it looks like you're king of the parking lot. But just like here, the Skyliner and to hear the music of studios in the background. Jamesy boy, there's gonna be a lot of things that your mom and dad miss living here. But we'll come back to visit and, you know, maybe we'll buy a house here and rent forever in Chicago and have two homes. Hi, Evie. So we leave a TV on for Evie when we leave. We like to think that it's good company for her. Um, well, we're gone and it's a small TV because our big TV will like is that on timer and it'll shut off so this one it just like plays a DVD and it keeps going and I've been sitting here since we got home like probably at least 20 minutes hi are you listening to me and it's a small TV that we put in front of our big TV and um, I've still been watching it I haven't turned on the big TV it's just a tiny TV um, but Cinderella's a good movie. I even, I even got myself all cozy under a blanket. And that's the tiny TV I'm watching. It is right. Today is January. Just kidding. It is February 1 2nd. Ooh, this is another one of the ones that doesn't have an author. It doesn't even say anonymous. This is not even a real message. It's a figment of your imagination, but it's not by figment from Epcot. Fill your lungs up with life and repeat after me. I am alive. I am alive. I am alive. What are you doing? Your name is, is James Brookhart and we're about to try to go to bed. You poop your pants. Say it with me, Sarah. Poo poo city. No. What? Do you have something to say? Ah, uh, boo 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 to you, you, you. Ah, uh, boo to you. A goo do you. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.